What's up guys, it's Risa and welcome back to my channel. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and click the subscribe button down below to see more videos from me. Currently, I am hosting a giveaway over on my Instagram where I'm giving away two $100 gift cards to Casely. Casely is the phone case company that I absolutely love. But for today's video, as you can see, um, your girl doesn't have her eyebrows done and if you've been with me for a while, you know that rarely happens. I do not like to leave the house without having my eyebrows done. And so the reason they're not done today is because I am getting my eyebrows microbladed and I am so excited for it. I'm going to vlog that experience for you guys, but that appointment is at 3 p.m. And so until then, I figured I would vlog the day a little bit and just kind of take you guys around. I am going to Lowe's in a minute because I just got some really cute planters for my room and I need to put plants in them and so I'm gonna show that to you guys so I haven't done a room tour yet because I'm still working on my room but I have this mirror here and then I just got this planter which is so cute because it brings in a pop of pink into my room because I do have other pink touches so I'm gonna get a plant for this one and then I also grabbed this planter and I'm going to hang it like right above there from the ceiling and so it's gonna be super cute and I'm so excited this was literally seven dollars from Marshall's and that one was fifteen dollars and so Marshall's is such a steal and guys you haven't seen little Brody in like a week and a half because I haven't been posting but he is getting so big he is four pounds now and just so precious as you can see he's gonna come with me to Lowe's so I'm in the car now heading back from Lowe's and on the way back I saw Starbucks and realized I need to give Brody a puppuccino because he's never had one before. I did find some plants and I'll show it to you guys when I get home. So I got my refresher and I got Brody the pup cup, but I always feel so hectic going through the Starbucks drive-thru. I want to film for you guys and so I always get frazzled. So um, we're going to try it now because he's at a red light. <laughs> Is that yummy? <gasps> Do you like that? Safe to say, I think it's Brody approved. Okay, so I'm back home and I'm gonna show you guys the plants I got. This one is the one I got for my little hanging thing. So I don't know what kind it is, but it's really pretty and the lady at Lowe's said that it's really easy to take care of. And the second one I got is this dark green snake plant and I thought it was really pretty. And the last one I got was this cute little succulent. I love the like light green color. It's like pastel almost. And I thought that'd be super cute to go on my desk because I do have a little succulent pot that needs a plant in it as well. Y'all, that was so much work. Like, I'm sweating. Um, I don't like to get dirty, and my hands were just super gross, so um, that was not fun. But we did finish the planting, and it looks so cute. Right here, we have the snake plant. There she is in all of her glory. This one is super cute, and it's gonna hang like this over the mirror, and so I think it's gonna look so pretty. And then last is just this cute little succulent plant that I got, and she is the cutest little thing in the world. I am a sucker for succulents. Okay guys, so I am leaving for my brow appointment in 15 minutes and I am so excited But I figured I would sit and chat for a second and just kind of discuss why I'm doing this Eyebrows are always something I've been self-conscious with and honestly it goes back to seventh grade I was on a dance team. It was sixth or seventh grade I was on a dance team and we had to wear like these jewels for the competition and like it was on our forehead and my coach at the time, she glued the jewels on for me and part of it was on my eyebrow. So when I took it off, young 12 year old me went this way, not thinking anything of it. And I ended up ripping off part of my eyebrow. So that kind of started my eyebrow journey as far as like filling them in. I started with like the benefit, I think it's called the brow whiz. I'll pop it up here. I used that gel for a long time and then I started getting into pencils. And for the longest time I have been using the L'Oreal brow pencil and it looks like this and so now I am kind of like getting over doing my eyebrows every morning at work a few of the girls have gotten their eyebrows microbladed like recently and it just kind of got me thinking about it even more it never really crossed my mind as far as like getting a microbladed because I've always done my eyebrows myself but once I saw how good theirs looked I was like maybe I should go for it and so I went in for a consultation literally last Friday I DM the girl Katie on Instagram I'll link her Instagram right here for any of you guys who are Tampa locals and want to reach out but I had a consultation with her last Friday and she was so sweet and she just like kind of drew on my eyebrow and we 
we discussed like what kind of tactic we wanted to do with that i was so happy with it and i never done my eyebrows that good myself let alone she did it sitting right in front of me one hand in like 15 minutes it was super quick what she did and so what i'm doing is called the soft powder brow and basically it's kind of like a stick and poke tattoo where it's going to be like shaded in and still shaped and everything but it allows for a more natural look which is what i want i literally had the consultation a week ago and now i'm getting them done so with that said i am getting ready to head out and i'm going to vlog this process with you guys katie gave me the okay to film in there and so i'm so excited to bring you guys with me so this is the before one more look because oh my gosh they're gonna be like real eyebrows soon i'm so excited i am here with katie and we are about to get my eyebrows going and so we're kind of going to explain the process as we go along and take you guys with us so the first step was to map everything out. So as you can see, Katie is using her tools to make sure everything is symmetrical and even, and I love the precision she had. After mapping everything out, she began to shade everything in with an eyebrow pencil to get to our desired shape. Right, so she just finished drawing them on. Right now I look like a crazy person because of everything going on, but it's not going to look like this by the end. But the shape looks awesome. I'm super happy with it, and we're about to get started. So the procedure has officially begun, and here you can see she's just testing out the pigment on a small bit of my skin to make sure my skin took it well before proceeding with the rest. I was just telling her it kind of feels like a rubber band flicking you. It's not terrible, but you definitely feel it. Is this the kind of license you need to have to be able to do it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. How often do you have to get that renewed? Uh, every year. Okay, cool. First uh, class, I travel to Houston. The second class, I travel to uh, California. Oh, yeah. They've been all over the place. I know. First layer. I'm so excited. <laughs> it looks so good. So we're starting with the third layer right now. I definitely felt it towards the second half of the second layer with the numbing gel wearing off, but it's not unbearable and it's worth it. How often do you have to get it touched up? Um, depend on skin tie. If your skin tie takes up pigment, so you can do every year mm -hmm. with someone that they have oily skin, so they come every eight or nine months. Okay. It depends on how your skin type take the pigment. So between eight months and a year usually. Mm -hmm. After five weeks, you get the first touch up. Yep. Then with your skin type after first touch up, you got for awesome. a year. You can see the difference between the two. It looks awesome. I thought this was awesome beforehand, but <laughs> <laughs> got even better. So we are officially done. It looks awesome. I am so excited and I cannot wait to see what it's going to look like when it heals completely, but Katie killed it. So I'm very excited about it. I'm back in the car and we're officially done. Let's see. It is... 6 30 and my appointment was at 3 so it took a little bit more time than we expected just because this eyebrow did not want to take the pigment in the front but she got it working because she is awesome katie thank you so much for this like she is my new favorite person in this world i'm not gonna have to do my eyebrows again and they look amazing i cannot stop staring at myself in the viewfinder but as far as healing goes she says it takes like up to two weeks the first week i'm gonna see the most difference because it's gonna scab over and look all crusty and gross but I'll definitely update you guys in a future video on the healing process as well I'm gonna insert right here the before and after picture she took she did amazing as you can see I had no eyebrows before and now I have eyebrows and so I'm so happy so excited and I can't wait to wake up in the morning and have my morning routine literally cut in half because the eyebrows take the most time all right guys so I'm home now and as you can see I'm still pretty red from the procedure um, I would say on a pain scale, it wasn't terrible. I'd say about 50% of the time it was like a 4 out of 10. 
30% of the time it was like a 7 out of 10 and the other 20% it was a 0 because I didn't feel a single thing because of the lidocaine topical cream she used. I am so happy with how it turned out. She did amazing. As you guys saw, she was so precise with the measuring and just making sure it was going to be perfect and she was treating it like it was her face, which I love because you want perfection but other people like might not necessarily see that perfection. She went above and beyond and did amazing and so I am so happy with it. I am I'm going back for a five week touch up and so that's just a typical protocol she does just to see where your skin took the pigment they both look so symmetrical like they say eyebrows are sisters not twins these are freaking twins i'm so happy so once again i did want to say thank you to katie and i am literally so impressed by her work i am going to close out this video here so if you enjoyed it be sure to give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button down below to see more videos from me and go ahead and enter my giveaway over on instagram where i am giving away two 100 dollars case leaf gift cards but with all that said i'm gonna wrap it up here so i'll see y'all soon bye guys <laughs>